friends welcome to data pandit so let's talk about few uh, important important questions uh, in ab initio interviews right so uh, so many times uh, we, we will be asked right, right what is the uh, size of the mfs file so we have an mfs and uh, size in the two respect actually uh, in terms of number of records or maybe in terms of uh, uh, you know byte size so if we being asked uh, with respect to the number of records then we could say like uh, m underscore damp there is a command which uh, uh, you know uh, it's a general use basically it's a lot of options in m underscore dumps to uh, to uh, you know uh, know the content of the uh, any file serious serial file or mfs file so we have to have the uh, record description uh, file I mean dml file for that particular file which we are going to use with the m underscore dump and the actual content of the file i mean maybe the path of the file or the file name if we are in the that uh, current directory the file is there in the current directory right and the dml path and then we can pipe this uh, pass this information to the grab command then we can search because this will uh, give the uh, output as a record you know basis so then we can grab the record and it will give you everything actually the num uh, field name and then value field name value and entirely in the form of record format right and then we can say simple other wc command right wc hyphen l so it would give the number of records in the particular mfs file right if it, if we are being asked that uh, how many bytes are there for a particular file whether it is in a uh in a serial or a multi file so we can use the file information uh, uh different function actually we can give the file path and then that there is an attribute of this uh, uh output type of file information is size so that way we can calculate the size in bytes for a particular file right and uh, if we want to uh, know the total number of records there is another command which is uh, there in the m underscore dump itself we have an record and and we know that the record we can pass the record as a file you know dml file or we can pass as a string right if you want to pass as a string then there is an uh, like uh, m underscore dump there is an option called string and we can specify our record here and then there will be a data file and then other options maybe let's say print and records so this is an option print and records which will uh, which will print uh, the records at the end after traversing uh, a whole file it will print number of records at the end okay um, better use uh, no print data and then print and number of records if you want to just print uh, exact number of records then we can utilize like underscore damp then dml and then data file no print data so it will not print everything right from the file rather it will just pass uh, you know it will um, uh, scan through but it won't print it actually but this command it will print as well all right so better use this one if you want to just uh, you know want to get the number of records within a uh, multi file actually okay and uh, this can be used as in serial as well right okay and uh, if uh, there are uh, other command also for the listing of the files right so we know that there are multiple uh, use cases i mean wherein we use the directory listing so let's say we want to uh, read multiple files then if you want to normalize we read the files and then try to normalize it or if you want to read any bucket you know s3 bucket then also we may need to use the direct listing and uh, uh, it will um, also uh, use as a pattern okay so if you want to uh, if, if you want to list uh, the specific files right they are starting with a let's say here it will list all the files placed in the path so it could be an absolute path or a relative path right 
so the files pattern is like a star so all the files which beginning with the a can be so there could be multiple uh, you know uh, pattern over here so that also can be used as a filtration for the files right that way you can utilize these commands okay and these are the commands which may be asked in interview questions as well right thank you so much please subscribe my channel and we are going to see many more uh, this kind of information we can discuss about it and some advanced topic as well thank you so much